this uh, this game is going to be super easy to pick up, or at least I'm going to try and make it that way <laughs> for for everybody. Uh, it's the what I've I've created is basically a quick start. Like, hey, here are your characters. All you really need is a blank sheet of paper, and then we'll we'll draw our own character sheets. Okay. Uh, hello, Jonathan. How are you? All right, I am good. Not too. I'm a little sweaty. Hot here. No worries. Oh, <laughs> no worries. I was just getting to know everybody because I don't know anyone. Uh, I'm Alan. I'll be your GM. Um, uh, I was telling everybody, uh, basically, we're going to be playing Wield, uh, mm -hmm. which is basically a, um, a game where you're going to be playing two different uh, things. One will be a player character. Uh, and another one will be uh, basically a object or entity of immense power that can't move. <laughs> Yeah, it has to it has to manipulate the the players to do so. So we're we're going to be uh, going back and forth, and as we bring everybody in, uh, I'm I'll explain uh, basically that. But since you guys are here, did everybody get the Google Doc I sent through Discord? Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, <laughs> so uh, in that Google Doc is basically your uh, uh, a couple of pilots on there and I, I put them out there so that you guys can pick who plays which pilot. So um, these are quintessential stereotype anime kind of uh, characters, right? We have Lubin Kaiser, who's the brash hero, kind of reckless. Cho Gadiger, uh, who's the quiet genius, uh, innovative. Uh, Hayabusa, only one name like Beyonce. Uh, strength as an enthusiast of strength, pretty loyal. Nick Lambda, who's a kid savant and patient. Jet Capeta, who's a speed demon, uh, daring speed demon. And Doc Selica, who is a mad mechanic, who's very clever. So, since you guys are the first here, I figure you should probably have first pick. Like, what kind of character would you, what kind of pilot would you like to be? I mean, unless the other two want it because you two were here before me, I wouldn't mind being like Nick, Nick Lambda, not like Lambda. Nick Lambda. <laughs> you, you, can, you can change his name. It's totally fine. It's just how I process. <laughs> Sorry. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, well, in our, uh, in our main game, I'm really patient and sort of reserved so i think if it's okay with you two i'd like to be the reckless one lubin kaiser yes. nice lubin kaiser all these names by the way are just like i try to make them so that it's kind of unisex the it could be lubin as a girl or a guy or cho and all that stuff yeah. but at the same time what's funny is that these are actually uh, a lot of these are names of uh people in anime <laughs> <laughs> so erica do you have a do you have a uh, particular one or the other i mean i'm the one that is furthest away from any character i've played is calling out to me a little bit mm -hmm. uh doc doc selica okay all right so uh what you guys want to do is probably take that piece of paper that I asked you to grab and put your character's name on it. That way, uh, you know who your pilot is. <coughs> Excuse me. Your pilot is going to be uh, who will do everything, right? <laughs> they will, they're going to be uh, the people that do that. And in uh, this particular uh, game, uh, in, in normal games of Wield, you have to kind of role for control, I like to say, uh, and try to influence somebody to agree to get things done. In this, uh, both the AI and the pilot just agree, and then the power's there. So pretty simple. Um, so you'll notice like each one of these has different traits. So like, for example, for example, Lubin, you're a brash hero. That's your personality, right? In this game, you're, you're going to have 2d6 to do anything, everything. He's on 2d6. But let's say uh, uh, Jacob is Lubin and he's decided to be brash and rude to somebody, right? But it's for a good cause because he's a hero, right? <laughs> then he will gain an extra die for exhibiting nice. his personality. Um, 
if he does it recklessly, and there'll probably be wacky little things like, hey, can I use my trait for this? Can I, then you'll gain another die. So instead of two die to do something, now you have four. Okay. And that's just to do stuff. Okay. Um, now you'll notice uh, in this, when you're trying to do something, you, you uh, there's a difficulty level to do stuff. And I'll just break this down for you guys uh, pretty simply. If you add a verb to some, so everybody works on actions, right? If you add another verb to your action, so if you stand up and push the table, makes a little bit makes it a little bit harder, right? Um, or there's a complication, then you add another level of difficulty. The difficulty for everything is going to be six, and then another six for the next level of complication, another six for another act, uh, verb that you're doing. Okay, so the way I we we put it down here is to climb a ladder. Everybody can climb a ladder. You don't have to roll a die. It's difficulty zero, okay? But if you're climbing a ladder and carrying someone, that's a little bit hard, right? You carry somebody while climbing a ladder. Now you have to roll a six on 2d6. Uh, if you're climbing a ladder while carrying someone being shot at by ninjas or by anybody, then it's a little bit harder. So now the difficulty is 12. Uh, if you're climbing a ladder while carrying someone and being shot by ninjas and the ladder's on fire, that's another fire and trying to shoot back at them, then that's another level of complication. Okay, so <laughs> it's it, so it's a uh, add another six to each one on the two d six that you have. This is why you want to act like a character, uh, right? To, to for your personality and to use your traits to gain more dice. Okay, pretty simple stuff. Um, combat is basically that same thing with another character and another PC. Now, usually we're all sitting at a table and we point at each other on who we're attacking and doing stuff. We're gonna do something a little bit different on this one. We're just gonna hold up our hands and, and uh, uh, say who we're attacking or, or defending or anything like that, okay? Because uh, you guys are familiar with the initiative system, right? Um, this game has no initiative. Everything just happens at once. Okay, so we're all gonna basically do something and then, and then there you go. Uh, uh, then there's the one last uh, role is called control. So what I'd like you guys to do is on the side of your paper, so you have your name on top, you have your personality, and you have your trait, and then write one through 10 downward on, on the page there. You can be as artistic as you want <laughs> or, or not, but uh, next to each number, you're gonna make that, that amount of boxes, right? So one should have one box next to it, two should have two boxes next to it, so on and so forth. So when we decide uh, what our powers are gonna be, these boxes are very important because these are the boxes of control or the, the lines are the amount of control that uh, the AI will have for you. Oh, hello, Ryan, the Monkey King. Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Good. I just got back from climbing, uh, bouldering outside. It was fun. Oh, welcome. Nice. I bouldered today. Look at nice. us go. Nice. All right. Well, welcome. I'm Alan. I'll be your GM. We're going to be playing Wheel tonight. Uh, so you are here. And what we need to do is make sure that you have that Google Doc I sent in Discord. Yes. Did you get that? Okay, yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, so in there, <clears throat> there are a couple of pilots left. Uh, Jacob, Erica, and Jonathan have already picked their pilot. Uh, we have Cho Gadiger, who is the quiet genius and innovative as well. Uh, we have Hayabusa, who is a strength enthusiast, uh, loyal. Uh, and we have Jet Capeta, the speed demon, the daring speed demon. So you have three pilots to choose from. I'm going to go Jet. Jet, all right. Jet Capeta, all right. So uh, like I was telling everybody, if you have a blank sheet of paper, put the name of your character on top of it um, and then put your personality and your trait next to it. So you're a daring speed demon. Uh, if you're to, so everything in this game is done with two dice, right? So you roll 2d6 to do anything. But if you are invoking your personality, you gotta go fast, right? If you're not mm -hmm. first or last speed demon, uh, then you gain another die, 
right? Uh, if you are daring about it, you, if you're gonna, you know, jump, uh, pop a wheelie while you're doing it, then <laughs> then you'll get another die. So that'd be four die just to okay. you know, climb a ladder sort of deal. So that, that kind of keeps you in character. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's your pilot. Uh -huh. Okay. Now uh, you'll notice there's also the Vacha AI. Uh -huh. uh, the Vacha will be your secondary character. This is the whisper uh, of the AI that you will be piloting because you're going to be piloting giant robots. All right. Uh, so this is kind of like uh, Iron Man's Friday or Jarvis that he has in his armor. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, but in this case, <laughs> in this particular case, the AI is trying to become uh, self-sentient. It's trying to take over your body. Okay. okay. So Jacob uh, will probably, uh, you know, be the Vacha for Erica, who will be the Vacha for, for Jonathan. So you guys will be interacting with each other in a, in a different way. Okay. <laughs> So your pilots will have a story on their own, and the and the AI will have uh, a smaller story uh, with its pilot. Okay. Okay. So you'll notice they all have names and crazy little things on them, uh, but basically uh, there is three types of uh, frames. There's the guardian, who uh, think of it like a power armor, kind of like Iron Man or War Machine. Uh, there's a sentinel. Which is basically uh, more like your your traditional like power loader or or uh, kind of piloted giant robot that you see in the movies, and mm -hmm. then you have your uh, Colossus, which is basically like Voltron or the Megazord, like okay, fighting kaiju sort of uh, <clears throat> robot. Okay? Yeah. So depending on how you guys want to do this, because there's there is uh, I'll give you some background of the world. Right, so this is a uh, Mecha City One, is what it's called, um, and basically, the the world is based around giant robot games. Okay, so basically, they there's this thing called the Mecha Games, and the Mecha Games are uh, played by frames of or suits of various sizes that can be modified for different events. So you guys are also going to tell me like what kind of events that you would like to play in the game. And I would like you to be a racing team. Um, so you guys will probably help each other achieve a goal. Okay. Really <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, the mega games are test all sorts of stuff. Speed, agility, strength, durability. Some things are obstacle courses. Some things are like firefights uh, where you're just basically last person standing uh but basically you guys are fighting for notoriety and money for uh, as a pilot right some some pilots make it such a part of their personality that that's their last name like they are you know they are you know mr gold champion you know sort of deal that's how that's how crazy the mecha games are now the thing about this is that uh you have an AI. Okay, so you have to pick what kind of frame that you guys have. Does anybody have an idea of what type of frame that you pilot? No, not yet. <laughs> Can you explain it a little bit more? Sure. My brain so, is struggling to grasp. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot. Um, so we are in a place that's basically all about the sport of mecha, mecha fighting or mecha racing, right? So imagine um, like Speed Racer, right? If you remember that, but imagine that with giant robots. That's basically what, what, what we're going through. Cross country racing with giant robots instead of cars. Like real steel. You guys, yeah, like kind of like real steel. Real steel is like the, the fighting part of it um, or like uh, Pacific Rim, right? Where, where the giant robots just you know, fight the kaiju, but that would just be one event in the in, in in the series of events that you guys would be doing. So there's and, a bunch. Go ahead. And so the the guardian, if I understand correctly, that's like smaller, more body sized robots, and yeah. the sentinels are kind of um, they're like the the exo. Oh, what was the cartoon you mentioned earlier? Exo squad. Yeah, like exo squad. Um, yeah. which anyone can google that and then um the, <laughs> it's just the 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 giant ones yeah 
Yeah, and so my like favorite toy when he was a kid was from Exo Squad. So that there you go. <laughs> yeah, so like uh, guardians are, are are meant to be like the light frame. You know, they are uh, they they make you better. They, so it's like a power armor, kind of like in the uh, GI Joe movie where they're technically in body armor but they're flipping around doing all sorts of stuff that you can't normally do but it just ex ex it pushes your physical level up and it just happens to have guns so like iron man and a uh, war machine uh sentinel uh the sentinels are, are like small arms fire kind of exo squad power power loaders from um uh from aliens or like uh in avatar the thing that the general rides around that would be a sentinel right and then the colossus would be like the Megazord or Voltron or, you know, uh, Mecha Godzilla technically would be a Colossus. So it depends on you and your character and what you think you would pilot. Well, what's the difference between the like different categories in each of them? So those are, those are we'll get to. Those are the, okay. the powers that you guys will command actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, the all the guardians you'll notice have stealth uh -huh. which is, means they're harder to hit okay you know uh the sentinels all have ballistics which means that they are they're much better in a firefight and then the colossus all have concussive which means that there's always like a aftershock blow you know so uh sort of deal mm -hmm. where if if they hit you it's gonna hurt you in a different way you know it's not just like a damage it's gonna be you know mm -hmm disorienting or stunning or staggering. So I'm, I'm thinking for Doc, I think- um, Proteus seed, okay. A guardian of some, like, I, I just keep picturing Tony Stark and can like all the time tweaking and messing yeah. with it and- Yeah. Perfect. But still, but still feel like you have control over it because it's not sure. Megazord. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Jonathan just said in oh. our chat uh, the Proteus seed, right? So that sounds great. Uh, did you want Volition Surge or Level Overflow, uh, Erica? Or Doc? I guess I can call you Doc. <laughs> um, I think. Uh, Volition surge. Volition surge. Okay. I know. Sounds good. All Sounds right. Great. Okay. Uh, Jacob, Brian, you guys have a, a vote? I'd probably go with the last guardian one. The last garden level overflow. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, Jacob, do you have, uh, do you want one of the sentinels or? Anything like that? Yeah, I was I was torn. Like, what what would be the most fun to be reckless with? And I think it would be the most fun to be reckless with hail hailing gunfire. So okay, <laughs> which which one of those looks like the the most uh, fun for you? Animus Edge. Uh, yeah, oh. Animus Edge. Okay, all right. So these are the, just the names of the uh, the AI that you have. Okay, so here's what we I would like to do. I would like to ask you guys. Who would like to play which uh, Vacha? Because uh, you can't play your own Vacha, right? This is a, a game of uh, 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 basically talking to each other. So uh, let's go back. Well, let's go the opposite direction. Jacob, do you have uh, uh, one of the other players or one of the other characters that you think would be an interesting um, social interaction with? Let's see. Playing one of their playing their Vacha. Um, I see everyone like trying not to look at me. So I'll, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go with Proteus Seed if there's no objections. Okay. Nice. All right. Very cool. All right. And then uh, I believe Ryan, you were, you were the second to last to pick your guy. Oh, yeah. Um... So you have Animus Edge, Volition Surge. Who would you rather? Ooh, what's the volition power cords? What's the, yeah, what are those? 
So those are those are uh, powers that you will give, and we'll talk about those powers here in a second to your uh -huh. pilot, uh, to your okay. thing. So uh, the power core, for example, will, will give you the ability to uh, mess with your own power. Uh, let's say, um, let me give you an example of the power core thing. Uh, basically, you have uh, all my stuff is all over the place. Excuse me. Bots, command, force fields, concussive, heads up display, melee, power core. So for example, a level one power that you can give to your pilot is called time dilation field. So you can re-roll a failed roll once per encounter, but you have to take the second result. Okay. Oh. Uh I'm actually That's level go. one. There are 10 levels for each of these guys, by the way. <laughs> oh, damn. Nice. Uh, I'll go Animus Edge. Animus Edge. Okay, so yeah. Ryan, you're going to be Animus Edge. Okay. Uh, I believe, uh, was it Jonathan or Erica? Which one of you guys picked first? I think it was Jonathan that picked first. So Erica, you get to pick... Uh, whether you want to 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 be volition surge or level overflow, um, it's just I since I can't be my own, <laughs> I get to be. Um, oh yeah, that's right. That's easy enough for me to do because yeah, I so I have level. Set, I set this up for six players, so <laughs> I'm just on autopilot. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, we got this and Jonathan. You're there. Okay, so. What I would like you guys to do is uh, kind of look at the Vacha that you're going to be, right? So I'm going to go in the order that it's on my piece of paper here. So Ryan, uh, Animus Edge, okay, has Power Core, Concussive, and Ballistics, okay? So mm -hmm. Ballistics is basically the, uh, the guns, right? All the guns. Uh, and Lubin would, has to agree to take these guns. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna read off the 10, 10 types of guns, and you stop me if if something just kind of uh, perks your ears up. Okay, so for this, uh, ballistics is gonna be uh, pretty much different types of uh, different types of guns, and 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 uh, not just not just guns, but like. Uh, different types of ammunition, okay? So let, let me know if any of this uh, uh, floats your boat here. I got uh, Helios light submachine guns, an Ares flamethrower, Cerebus slug guns, Gemini lasers, a scatter cannon, an Aquarius ion blaster, the needle rifle, the rail cannons, or the Hellfire missile system, or Heaven's Wrath dark matter targeting system. What was the last one? Heaven's Matter? <laughs> Heaven's Wrath. Dark Matter Targeting System. That one sounds like uh, the most reckless one. So I'm going to go well, with that one. Okay. Well, this is this is you talking to Jake, uh, talking to Lubin. Oh, now. this is me okay. as the AI. Yeah, as the AI, what you have to do is convince your pilot, hey, take this one. Mm. <laughs> and so this is this is part of the game. We haven't even started the game, but this is part of the game. Okay. Is, is convincing each other, this is a good idea. All right. Now, during the game, as the AI, you guys can actually still talk to each other and upgrade and mm -hmm. give each other power. So imagine like, uh, has everybody seen um, uh, uh, Infinity War? And the nanobots, like Tony Stark's armor, like mm -hmm. turns into all sorts of stuff. That's what you can do as the Vacha for your frame. So you can be like, hey, did you want a flamethrower? I can make a flamethrower. <laughs> All right. It's just going to cost you a little bit of power. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So uh, let, let, me, let me do this first. Lubin, does any of that, being the reckless guy that you are, sound like something that you want? Yeah. I, obviously, all of it sounds exciting. <laughs> I think that um, if I understand correctly, the higher I take, the, the, the more of a risk Lubin is taking at getting uh, addicted to this and sort of- That's Lubin. correct. That's correct. So this is completely arbitrary, but I, I feel like 
I, I like a six or a seven, like the ion blaster or the, the needle okay. rifle sounds arbitrarily awesome enough. What do okay. you think, Animus Edge? Would you? Uh, I think Heaven's Wrath just got to bring down <laughs> Heaven's Wrath on people, man. Okay. So, so let's. <laughs> so you want it at a 10. And I yeah. want a six. So what if we met in the middle at, at eight? What do you think, Animus? Could we do that? Mm. So those are the pretty rail pretty cannons. Good. Those yeah. are the rail, rail cannons. Can hey, hey, we can do some damage from rail cannons. That's all okay. I'm going to say. So uh, Lubin, if you'll write down on your character sheet, Atropos rail cannons. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> the description is, is basically this. You inflict a total of four wounds. Uh, on up to four someone's in sight. Uh, so you would be able to do one wound on each person, basically, up to four people. Okay. Or four wounds on a single person. Okay. Okay. So uh, in this, if you want to write that, that you can use both this power and defend for, for this round. All right. That'll, that'll make more sense as we go. And this is a ballistic type damage. Uh, ballistic damage is uh, ballistic damage is, is no joke. It's actually uh, it actually will uh, set you on fire for three rounds. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So you know when I was saying you climb a ladder while it's on fire, it's automatically harder to do anything if you get hit with the ballistic. Okay. Okay. All right, so that being said, next, Volition Surge. Uh, so Jonathan, uh, you and Doc Selica uh, have this uh, deal to make for your uh, stealth, uh, if you'd like. Uh, so in stealth, <clears throat> so you can tell me when, uh, tell me if it makes any sense for you to, uh, to say yes to any of this stuff or what, what perks, what perks your ears first? Uh, we have smoke launchers, we have flashbang charges, an optic disruptor, decoy launchers, sensor disruption pulse, shadow mode, a corruption relay, shadow stalker protocol, a neural interface jammer, or the penumbra engine. I think I liked shadow mode. It's the one that shadow popped mode. into my mind. Okay. Me too. <laughs> oh, excellent. Well, there you go. You guys are on top of it. So the description for this, if you want to write this down, Doc, is you become invisible, period. This effect lasts until you do not want to be invisible anymore, period. Okay, so basically this is invisibility. If you guys have played D&D &D or anything like that, pretty simple uh, stuff. But you can both use this power and defend. And you cannot be attacked unless the attacker knows exactly where you are. So they'd have to have something to be able to sense, sense you. Okay, pretty simple. Now I'm going over all your bonuses. These are for free. These are the powers that you gain for free. Okay, so you maybe you should have said yes to the first one. <laughs> but then uh, everything else will, will, will be for addiction and stuff. Okay, uh, Proteus Seed, Jacob. Uh, you have to uh, convince uh, Nick on any one of those stealth ones. Uh, did you want? Um, let's see. I don't Smoke know. The Smoke launchers, flash, sounded... flashbangs. The, the which one? The corruption relay sounded really cool. What? What? Oh, okay. does that do? What can I sell to Nick here? So basically, you can you can make somebody fail automatically. You can make somebody fail an attack against you or someone per encounter. So uh, if somebody succeeds a roll, you can tell them, nope. And it just happens. That's your, that's, that's a thing. Basically you would be in this, the flavor of, of this game, you, you would, ha you'd be able to hack them and say no. I'm also happy to have all of them read again, if, if that would be helpful. Sure, absolutely. Uh, so the first one's pretty simple. It's uh, smoke launchers. Then we have flashbang charges, optic disruptor, decoy launchers, 
sensor disruption pulse, shadow mode, the corruption relay, shadow stalker protocol, neural interface jammer, and the penumbra engine. What does the last one do? Uh, description is you cannot be killed. Nah, nah. <laughs> So wait, since this is since this is the bonus and we kind of get it for free, does this affect uh, our like level of like giving up power too? So this is the bonus that comes with your your vacha. So what I'm gonna basically do is make this like, if you uh, are the vacha, right? If you're the AI, you can say, hey, I invoke my bonus, and you will gain that many on your power pyramid. Oof. Okay. <laughs> so it can affect you. It can affect you. It's not. It's not something that happens right now. But hey, you use that, and I gain it. I'll gain that much power. But it also strengthens and deepens our bond as close. <laughs> That's correct. Mm -hmm. See, but I'm a smart kid. So I'm not going to give up all the power. Okay. okay. We got to take our time. Right. And the thing it's, of it's it's only if you pull the lever. If you pull the lever on the penumbra engine, he'll gain that power. I think the first one that you said initially, I'd be Smoke more willing cultures? to do. Uh, no. Or... Corruption relay? Oh, the, the corruption, corruption relay? relay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's good. Uh, write a seven next to that. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, to tell you what the ballistic one was. It was an eight. The rail cans were an eight. Thank you. Okay. So if you choose to use those, he'll gain eight. And what was the shadow mode? Shadow mode? Shadow mode is you as a six. You become invisible. And what's the wording for corruption relay again? Corruption relay? You make someone fail an attack against you once per encounter. And you can use it after somebody succeeds. <laughs> all right and then uh so that was proteus seed uh level overflow erica you have to convince jet to take uh one of those stealth ones <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta see what jet oh speed demon um well, that kind of makes sense that you, know, you cannot be killed for the speed demon. I mean, <laughs> you don't want to die. You want to go fast. I mean, I want to go fast. <laughs> okay, I so think, there you go. I think that's the one you should take. So, uh, Jet, if you'll write a ten and a pin and the penumbra engine, you you hit that nos button. You're gonna you're gonna give ten power over to or. 10 boxes over to your, uh, your Vacha. All right. <laughs> okay, so uh, next we're gonna go back up to the top, Animus Edge, Ryan. Uh, you're gonna talk to uh, Lubin about his power core. So here are the 10 powers for the power core. Um, let me make sure I have it here. So <clears throat> time dilation field, Power boost, virus protection, fusion cannon, system reboot, arc cannon, remote system reboot, accelerator relay, overdrive system, and the Medusa pulse. This is going to cost you uh, boxes, depending on the level of power. That you have, you have because this is the one this is the one you've added to your frame. Okay. Hmm. Any of those sound like fun for the? Uh, I had one in my head and then I thought of something and it left my head. Uh, it's okay. I'll read them again. Time yeah. dilation field, power boost, virus protection, fusion cannon. System reboot, arc cannon, remote system reboot, accelerator relay, overdrive system, and Medusa pulse. Uh, fusion cannon or arc cannon? Okay, so the fusion cannon 
you set something on fire. You basically have, uh, you point at something and it's on fire. That includes other frames. Uh, the arc cannon is you fire a lightning bolt to a specific place. Um, basically, you, you, you will give somebody three wounds that cannot be defended against. Or you select something and that thing gets destroyed by the lightning. Oh, fusion cannon. Well, my AI certainly knows me. I do love fire. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fusion cannon is four. So tick off four boxes starting at the top level one. Okay. And that will be, so four boxes that'll take you down one, two, and then the first box of three, right? Okay. I follow you. Follow you? Okay. All right. Volition surge. Jonathan, uh, Doc Celica has uh, also those same uh, choices for the power core. Would you like to uh, sell her on uh, time dilation field, power boost, virus protection, fusion cannon, system reboot, arc cannon, remote system reboot, accelerator relay, overdrive system, or Medusa pulse? I think remote system reboot. Okay. I had to guess. Yeah. I think that's so the one. The remote system reboot. Uh, so there's things like being on fire, uh, drowning. There's conditions in the game, right? Poison, that sort of thing. The remote system reboot. You remove all negative negative conditions from everyone you you want. So you get to pick uh, if you'd like to remote system reboot. <clears throat> you can either attack or defend, but you can heal. You can not heal them, but make them stop dying, kind of. I mean, with as much as your experiments and tinkering on everything does, you might need a fail safe. So what, what, what is virus protection? Virus protection? Yeah. Uh, virus protection is you remove one condition from someone in sight. Oh. So it's basically yeah. a, a small system reboot. Yeah, a system reboot's probably better for, okay. you know. Well, we have <laughs> system Bye. reboot and remote system reboot. System reboot is you can do it to yourself. Remote system reboot is you can do it to as many people as you want. Do it for the team, Doc. This reminds me of every time at D&D when you're like, you can have another bowl of Doritos. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the time, uh, Jonathan, as... Uh, Volition Surge, you can kind of kibitz your player, your your pilot. Like, listen, this is this is this is why this works. This is why you want this. That's up to you. Or I, you could just stare I, at her. I say I think I said said enough to get into her enough. <laughs> enough well, to get her and, thinking and at least. I, I I am. I'm I'm trying to think of yes. I I think that that is a wonderful idea. Okay. All right. For that will other be other reasons. Okay. So For clever reasons. So for very clever was... reasons. <laughs> that would be seven boxes for you, ma'am. Remote system reboot. As someone who sets everything on fire, I'm really glad that you have that. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. Uh, Proteus C, Jacob. Uh, Let's see, we're looking at force fields for uh, Proteus Seed. So force fields are always fun. Uh, okay. All right, so you can talk them into a shield generator, reinforced armor, repulsor disruption nodes, uh, counterfire defense system, deflector shields, fortification, fire resistant plating, a force wave, early warning defense drive, or a frame lock. Well, there's one that immediately pops into my mind, but first I'll ask my pilot, did any of those sound good to you? I would say the deflection. Look, I'm all about buying time. If I can just have something brush off of me, give me a little bit more time, I'm good. Absolutely. So I had a similar thought in mind. You are uh, on a team with someone who is reckless and dangerous Mm -hmm. So fire resistant plating might be might be a good bet as well. Why don't we hear what both of those are and see see what you like more? Sure. 
The deflector shields change the target of the attack to somebody else. <laughs> uh, fire resistant plating says you are immune to fire. You cannot be burned or take any damage from fire. With the deflection, does it go to another teammate or does it go to anyone that I choose? It goes to anybody that you choose. I think I'm sticking with the uh, the deflection. I mean, we got someone on the team who will, or who can cure wounds, for lack of a better term. So, well, you know, I, I can't really argue with that. Let's let's okay. go with deflector shields. Okay, that's a five. So five boxes ticked off. Uh, level overflow. Erica, uh, can you convince Jet uh, to use any of these melee? <laughs> um, uh, powers. What, so, what, is the, what is the Medusa pulse? Because I have an idea, but I want to know what that one is first. You stop everything. Oh, literally no, a stop. Okay. So, <laughs> Jet, I am. I'm. I'm thinking you like to go fast. That accelerator. Well, that would be power good. core. You don't have that power to give him. That's from oh, the power crap. core. Okay, which then I, you, I I don't know then. Yeah, so level overflow has melee and command. So we're going with melee first, okay? So he likes okay. to go fast, but uh, he has something to hit somebody with. So he can have a mecha club, piston fists, Hades adamantine claws, a dauntless chain blade, nitro hooks, a megaton trident, Anubis Lance Pistons, Volcanic Spike Hammer, Aegis Gigaton Pistons, or the Immortal Ruination Array. What's the last one? <laughs> it's called the Immortal Ruination Array. Okay. <laughs> I mean... Your pilot just walked onto the car lot. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that that sounds pretty good. So you know, the immortal ruination array is you can kill someone or something that cannot be killed. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you it could get there really. You could get there really fast, and then slice them before they even know what you're doing. I was thinking more of the one of the chain ones. It's like the or the chain sounded really cool. Like that was my first thought before. Yeah. yeah. Or like what um yeah I'm trying to think if any of them sounded like yeah like any like wait was there any like whip or chain one? Uh, there was a chain one. The hook, the nitro hooks. No, there was, I thought there was a chain. It had chain. There's a the dauntless name. chain. Yeah, it's a chain blade. So think of a sword that's a chainsaw. Mm. What's the nitro hooks? The nitro hooks, uh, basically you break three somethings, which means that you can break uh, things like other frames. You gain the, the broken condition, which means you take away dice from other people. Uh-huh. That's that's okay. the broken condition. That's the broken. Mm -hmm. mm. So basically it's not that you're faster, it's everybody's slower. Yeah. <laughs> so think of it like uh road spikes. You see they like the, the those those road strips that are spikes that, that pop tires. Uh -huh. That's basically what you have. Um and you can flavor it however you want. You can have them as whips out of your hands or out of your feet or out of your knees. I don't care. It's just it's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> what, what sounds what sounds good to you, Jet? Probably the nitrous hooks, just so like I can be faster than everyone else. Okay. So you can uh, put them out there, yeah. Yeah. Well, how, however you want the flavor, but you break three somethings. Uh -huh. And you can use this power and defend this round. So basically, this is something that you could do uh, in the middle of, of the uh, the race to attack somebody. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, those are called nitro kind of armor, right? Yep. They okay. they gain broken, which means you take you take a die away. So nitro hooks. 
All right. So that goes back to the top, Animus Edge. Ryan, uh, you're going to be uh, seeing what concussive uh, things that you can convince your your uh, pilot. <clears throat> okay. So Lubin, uh, you can ask him about if he wants drill mines, a frag grenade launcher, mini missile pods, uh, assault rockets, uh, the retribution ordnance battery, the Poseidon plasma gun battery, the neutron destructor cannon, the Neptune storm railgun, the dark matter Nova cannon, or the Omega bombardment. Uh, destructive cannon. Uh, the neutron destructor can you break for some things so it's basically like uh, uh, jets nitro hooks but you one mm -hmm. one high just one level higher yeah the uh, what was the name we gave it again the neutron destructor cannon yeah neutron destructor cannon Those oh, I'm sorry level. also make sure that on your character sheet jet that you mark off five of the boxes I'm I'm almost worried that we're gonna need to write gullible on my sheet, but I'm sold. I'll take the <laughs> Okay. That will be seven boxes for you, sir. Got it. All right. That and that will be that is your character done. Uh yep. Volition Surge, Jonathan. You gotta ask uh about these service mods uh, that you can give to uh, you can give to Doc Celica, so you can give her uh, electromagnets, a welding torch, gravitic repulsors, extinguishers, subatomic drills, a sonic torch, superior electromagnets, adamanting tr tunneling drills, cluster charges, or the gravitic turbines. Sorry, can you read them one more time? Absolutely. So electromagnets, welding torch, gravitic repulsors, extinguishers, subatomic drills, sonic torch, superior electromagnets, adamantane tunneling drills, cluster charges, or gravitic turbines. You want something to do with gravity? That can be fun. So you can, so you you know what it does. You move everything and everyone, including yourself, that you can see from one place to another. You can choose to leave someone and or something behind, but it has to be de declared at the time of the move. You so think like magne like Magneto, like in in the X Men movies, you can just move everything. Get annoyed with people, you can just leave them behind. Yeah, that sounds fun. I like okay. that. I like right. that idea. Gravitic turbines it is. That will be 10 boxes for you, man. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we have Proteus C. Jacob, you have to convince Nick uh, about these heads-up displays that you got for him. Hey. All right, so the heads-up displays are uh, pretty much ways to, to be a little bit better at other things. So the communication system, small photon hologram projector, the proximity detector, motion sensors, the geometric ricochet relay, large photon hologram projector, omni sensors, advanced laser targeting system, the early warning defense system and the massive photon hologram projector. What do what do omni sensors do? That's what I. Mean. Uh, you cannot be blinded, fool, or fooled by holograms, or fooled by invisibility. Ooh, that sounds nice. Yeah, I, I, I was feeling that one, so I'd be. I'd be All right, game. there you go, done. Omni sensors are seven boxes for you, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, and last but not least. Uh, Level overflow, Erica. Uh, you have to uh, convince Jet to uh, of. <laughs> I love the fact that you guys have the speed demon with the command module. 
<laughs> so the command module, basically, uh, you have the neurochip, the implanted memory. Uh, you can release drones. You can possess a frame, execute simple commands, delete data. Drone, uh, you have a drone control module, an alpha strike accelerator, neural possession, and the neural hack. Um, I can read them again for you. Yeah, can you read them again? Sure. You have the command neurochip, the implanted memories, release drones, uh, frame possession, execute simple command, delete data, drone control module, alpha strike accelerator, neural possession, and neural hack. What's the drone operator? So the control, uh, drone control module? Yeah. Uh, basically, you, you control a group of small drones. You can have them attack <clears throat> for one wound or defend someone for one round, or for one wound. Uh, they follow simple or complicated commands if they are able to. They take two wounds before they die. So basically, you have five drones that kind of follow you around, you know, and do your bidding. Okay. Yeah, that one. Okay. Or well, I guess if yeah, I guess. I was, I was thinking either that one or the Alpha Strike Accelerator. That but... one basically. This one might might uh, perk up Jet's ears here. You incite everyone to a frenzy. You can choose to leave someone unaffected, but it may must be declared at the time of the riot. Someone in frenzy can only take attack actions each round. Uh, so basically, yeah. it's it's throwing a, the golden apple, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. can have the drone control module or the alpha strike accelerator. That's up to you. So alpha, what is it? Alpha strike accelerator. All right, you incite everyone to a frenzy. They can only take attack actions this this round. <laughs> okay, that'll be eight boxes for you. All right, so everybody should have like a little pyramid, right? Uh, one through, one through ten. Yes. Oh, uh, what was the last one? Uh, the nitro hooks. Uh, nitro hooks was a f uh, five, I believe. Five. Second, awesome. Let me let me just double okay, check and to make sure. Yes, five. Awesome. And what was my remote system reboot? Because I don't think I marked that one down. Oh, uh, your remote system reboot, I believe, was a seven. Let me double check that. Okay. And then, uh, yes, seven. How do the boxes work. Okay, so you have uh, one through ten down the side of your piece of paper, uh -huh. and each each uh, each number has that many boxes next to it, right? So you're gonna mark down. Uh, you're gonna put an X through each box. That has uh, that has your um, uh, that you have for the powers that you have, right? And okay. that's so. Right now, uh, let's let's use somebody for an example. Like right now, how many boxes do you have? Check. Oh, there you go. You see Jacob's paper. Mm, yeah. Okay. So you usually have ten dice for control. So when the uh, AI says, "Hey, let's do this." that's when the, the, the control role happens. Mm. So in the game, if uh, you as, uh, as Animus Edge want Lubin to do something, you basically, you basically say, hey, I need a control role because I'm gonna try to do something here. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Lubin might be like, okay. And then you, you basically say, all right, hey, I'm gonna give you a flamethrower now. That sort of thing, and then he'll mark off how many, how much power a flamethrower is, but he has to agree. Okay, <laughs> so the control role happens, and in, in, in this game, there's there's not a lot of um, uh, me versus you, as far as the vacha versus the, uh, the the player. In other versions of the game, there are. This one's a little bit more cooperative because the the player has to agree, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the thing about this is, is now, is now we get to the fun part, uh, is the AI addiction. So the more addicted you get your pilot to you, the better it is that you can, you can use his abilities, right? So in this particular case, um, they're using 
using the the vacha is addicting being in the in the frame is addicting so the pilots can seek to constantly upgrade so that they have an edge in the games so the greater the modification it brings them closer and closer to ai addiction uh -huh. and there's four states of ai addiction uh, the first is melancholy next is anger the next is jealousy and the final one is stability okay now the you have one through ten right uh however many of those lines are completely filled with boxes is how much uh dice that the ai has versus the uh the player or the pilot okay so if you want to take control of the pilot you would roll that many dice according to how much power the pilot has agreed to okay so in this particular case jacob how many lines are completely filled so i've got four that are completely filled okay so you would have four dice and then uh ryan as animus edge if he says hey we're gonna do this and you don't have a choice then he would roll the he, he would roll the four dice and he would roll six because you have you have as a human being 10 dice of control but as you give power to your your vacha or as you agree to power to your vacha it's a little bit more addicting a little bit more addicting does anybody have more than six lines filled up no now am i uh, I, I think no Oh, go ahead, Jen. Everybody's everybody has less less than six lines filled. Yes. You start at the top, right, and then go down. Yeah. Yes. And like our first number didn't count. So like my shadow mode. Number six yeah, didn't count, that, right? That'll that'll only count if you turn it on during the game. So I think I have oh, more than six lines. I have less than. Yes. So your your first one that we did was a bonus that will only uh, that will only be uh only oh, be counted when you turn it on. If you do it. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Well, at least you have a glimpse of the future. That's you know true. what it'll be when you hit it. Yeah. <laughs> so at six control dice, um, the pilot gains melancholy. All right. Uh, seven will be anger. Then jealousy at eight to nine. If you ever get to 10 control dice, I don't know if it's possible in a one shot, but if you ever get to 10 control dice, congratulations, you are, uh, you now have a flesh suit. You, you now have taken over that pilot's uh, sentience. Okay. All right. So now that our characters are made, uh, uh, wow, that's a lot, a lot of time has passed. So let, let's just get into it. All right. Let's talk about your league. Do you guys have uh, a picture in your mind of like, uh, like a, a cross country race, but think about it like I have this giant robot or this kind of the smaller robot, I guess. Um, and you guys are a team, all right? So we have, we have Lubin Kaiser piloting Animus Edge, Doc Selica piloting Volition Surge, uh, Nick Lambda piloting Proteus Seed, and Jet Capeta, <laughs> the speed demon that for some reason has level overflow. <laughs> okay, that being said, uh however you do you want to describe your uh your frame your robot please uh go ahead and do who would like to go first mm. so every ability that i chose has the word cannon in it yeah. <laughs> uh, my my mech <laughs> looks like a, a, a large power frame whose only purpose is to hold cannons. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> it's scorched and sort of singed from all of my previous misadventures. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Doc, what is your, what is uh, Volition Surge look like? This is not my, my area. 
It's all good. I'm trying, you can, I'm trying you can, to think. You can, uh, you can describe it like it's a car. You can describe it like it's a, a robot that you've seen before. It could look like, you know, anything you want. Like, this is I'm, the theater I'm, of the mind. I kinda, <laughs> I'm kind of thinking like Hulkbuster. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Is that too big? No, that's actually frame? that's actually a good a good uh, frame for uh, a good frame for how big your guy is. Okay, so okay. Hulkbuster. All right, cool. Uh, Proteus C, Nick Lambda, Nick, what is your what is your uh, your frame look like? Mine's smaller, mainly white, but with green and blue accents. Nice. About all I got. <laughs> okay. All right. Is it like power armor or is it, or, or is it? Yeah, like a... it's, it's more like an exoskeleton. Um, okay. So cool. it, it almost kind of blends in with just how I look. Um, awesome. And awesome. It's pretty sleek. Cool. It's all about how good you look right now. <laughs> all right. Jet, what does level overflow look like? I'm going to say it kind of looks like a. Could I do like a. The uh, ba- cheetah. Sure, basically. done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's basically just like cheetah, and like I can go yeah. on like my hind legs. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you look up, um, if you want to look up what uh, Cheetor looks like from the Transformers Beast Wars, I think I know exactly what you look like. <laughs> he's he's very anime. Uh, all right. So you guys are. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. What's the name of your team? Giraffe Alpha Force. Oh, God. <laughs> Giraffe Alpha Force. <laughs> Unless somebody has a, a better one, I'm writing it down. <laughs> I, I was going to offer the Chaotix because everyone seems really chaotic on this team. Okay. Chaotix. All right. I like it. I'm writing that one down too. I, I throw other? behind the Chaotic Giraffe Alpha Force. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Doc, you, you have any? Uh, do you have two cents to throw into the pot? Um, I like the chaotic giraffe alpha force. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the chaotic giraffe alpha force it is. With the cheetah king. I like With that. the cheetah king. <laughs> perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so... Uh, Basically, uh, imagine a huge, uh, uh, not just a, a, a semi, but like one that's meant to transport giant robots across country, right? You guys are, are going to be going, uh, and you are now going, to, you're taking it from one side of Mecca City to the other side of Mecca City, where the big arena is. And the re- arena is uh, a place that can be changed. Uh, It is gigantic because you have giant robots. And so the topography will change depending on what you guys decide uh, uh, on the big wheel of of doom that that will be there for your race. Okay. So you guys are in this together. Does anybody have uh, a hankering of driving or doing anything while they're on the way to the arena? No? Everybody's just kind of quiet and just staring at each other. All right, cool. <laughs> I think I th- I think maybe I'd be tinkering. Okay, you're tinkering with stuff. All right. Yeah. Are you are you tinkering with uh are you tinkering with a um, specific thing? Is it it's something that you're gonna be adding to your, your frame or is it something that's just kinda like, you know it'd be fun if this if this uh thing could butter bread. <laughs> um <laughs> Probably, I, I don't, I'm tinkering, not tinkering, um, uh, may, maybe just making sure that everything is optimal. Okay, my you're, right, you're running diagnostics then. Yes, that. Okay, words. <laughs> words, totally fine. Okay, uh, anybody else doing anything while, while you're on the way there? I'll just be sitting on one of the bigger ones in my own suit, just kind of ready, being pensive. Okay. Okay. Uh, on the way there, as you guys are, uh, are doing your, your normal pre-race thing, you, everybody gets an email on their, uh, on their 
let's say the wrist and everybody has an e has a like a little wrist communicator thing and they uh all get it it looks like everybody kind of looks at each other because they all the everybody's wrist uh went off at once jack okay um so there is a couple of different leagues that uh, are offering races tonight. Uh, there is the Alpha Premier, which is the Gladiatorial Combat uh, League, the Black Colossus, which is uh, basically uh, team divisions uh, where teams uh, battle a single Colossus, uh, or small, smaller frames will battle a, a single Colossus. Uh, there's one from Epic Mecha, which is basically the crazy one. It, like everything that you can think of shows up in these uh, in these things. So there could be uh, a new contest, or they'll they'll have just a, a normal fight, but they'll throw crazy rules into it. Um, and then there's the Grand Prix Racing Circuit, which is basically speed is the the sole key to success. Uh, basically, uh, working toward the Grand Prix Cup at the end. So you guys, the, the chaotic giraffe alpha force are starting this racing season and you guys haven't really picked which league that you're going to sign up for. So at this point, you guys are all kind of looking at each, at each other going, Oh, we mm -hmm. forgot to, we forgot which one to pick. Speed. <laughs> Grand Prix. Great Prix. Yeah. So in the in the in the rules of the Grand Prix, it's sort of understood that I might occasionally shoot my competitors, right? Yes, you you realize that you are in giant robots, and the thing that's entertaining about seeing giant robots go in a circle is the crashes. Yes. All right. Well, I'm completely down with that. I'm I'm really suggestible. So if any of you <laughs> like where you want to go, I'm probably going to say yeah. <clears throat> okay. I'm thinking not the Colossus one or the one where everything's like crazy. So you're voting against rather than for, you're just like, let's not do that. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna vote for the alpha one simply because it has our name in it. So I think it's meant for us. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. That is a good point. I have those sometimes, I am smart. So pilots, as you guys are talking to each other, Vacha, you guys hear what the pilots are saying. And this is the time for you to uh, influence your pilot, right? So um, Animus, well, we'll go down in, in, in uh, the thing here. Animus Edge, uh, Brian, would you like to, to uh, help vote uh, for Lubin or or kind of push him toward one or the uh, one or the other. Uh, I also recommend if you guys are talking in your vacho voice in the middle of a scene to change your voice up just a little bit. I don't care if you it, how you do it. It just makes it easier to go. Wait, who's talking? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you can have a high pitch voice if you want if you're the vacha, or you can have a super deep voice. It depends on how you want to do it, or you know, have a southern accent. <laughs> it's up to you. Oh, <laughs> or or if you have performance and you don't want to, you want to do if you don't want to do accents, that's okay too. <laughs> no, for dark, I can do a decent Rick and Morty voice. It'd have been funny to do that. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh, what was the one that uh, Jonathan suggested? The tournament. Alpha. The alpha. Alpha Premier. The gladiatorial combat. They attempt to keep everyone alive, but accidents happen, and they aren't responsible. Hey, hey. Yeah. There's the gladiatorial one. Alpha. What's the little second? Premier. Alpha premier. Well, you know, and I just sort of suggest to everyone. Look stuff I up. I think I kind of agree with uh, Nick. I think the the alpha one does have our name in it, and it does does just sort of fit our style. Plus, I get yeah, we can pull stuff up. 
<laughs> that is the key to Lubin's heart. <laughs> Volition surge, Jonathan. Do you want to convince Doc of one or the other? Yeah, um, I, I'm not gonna attempt an accent or anything. Like that. <laughs> That's totally fine. I'll do that. Um, you can you can also just you know raise your hand and or cross your fingers while you're saying it or gotcha. something like that, just, just to be like, this. yeah, that works. Um, you're a mad scientist. Why not do something mad? No chaos. Are you losing your touch? Did I choose the wrong person to be with? So the um, the key to this game is is agreement, right? If you don't agree mm -hmm. with your vacha, you can always do a control roll and see who wins out. If you're if it's this is kind of like that uh, persuasion or manipulation role in most yeah. games. See, and I think like out of game, my I'm like stuck in my other character's head. Sure. Because <laughs> she would not go for chaos. She would not. But <laughs> chaos might be fun. So when our Vacha are talking to us, can everybody else hear it? No, no. Or the Vacha only like speaks to you. Uh, it, it's kind of like an implant where you, okay. you hear another voice in your head. So the, the Vacha AI makes fantastic. it for, possible for you to actually uh, pilot your own vehicle your own frame. Yeah, the uh, chaos does sound fun. <laughs> and making everybody else on the track float away. This I mean, does sounds even more fun. Yeah. I say either chaos or just a big fight, which we can make chaotic. <laughs> what happens if our opponents disappear? Chaos. Bring new opponents in. Who knows? Yeah. So do you agree to the alpha premiere account or the epi epic mecha? Guys, I think our team is epic and even though the alpha one has our name in it we could change our team after we end the epic and be the epic chaotic giraffe alpha force that's good that's good okay uh proteus seed jacob uh do you have a uh, uh opinion on what Nick should vote for. <clears throat> you know what, Nick? You've always got the best ideas. I think if you want to fight in the gladiatorial ring, you should fight in the gladiatorial ring. But you know what would be absolutely amazing? An advanced music ring. targeting system. If you're going to be fighting people, you need targeting systems. And boy, have I got a good one for you. We don't need targeting systems when we're going to be back. We already got hotheads on our team. We're good. We're hold back. We got things to deflect. Keep us safe. Let other people take the flack. All right. Well, since since he's already <laughs> going where I want to go, I just fall silent. But on his heads up display, like 70s anime advertisements are flashing. <laughs> Right. He, I assume you see Nick like swiping them away or, or closing the windows. <laughs> awesome. Uh, level overflow. Uh, do you have a, do you have a, an opinion on what Jet should vote for? <coughs> what were their names again? So there's Alpha Premier. Okay. And there is the Epic Mecha. Black Colossus and Grand Prix. I mean, everyone at the Grand Prix is going to be going fast. So you're not going to stand out. So why not go run circles around 
the big guy, the Colossus. Mm -hmm. Be faster than everyone. Yes, you will. Mm. Okay. So the pilots have, have spoken with their Vacha and the uh, uh, and you've talked to each other. Uh, it's come down to you've you've knocked down one of the options out of the three. <laughs> uh, out of the four, excuse me. So, so there's three options out of four uh, that you can vote upon. You can go to the Alpha Premier, the uh, Epic Mecha, or the Black Colossus. Um, and it's basically that there's like a, a, a little clock with a bomb on it, uh, as far as the, the hologram that on your wrist is concerned, ticking down time, like before you guys, like it, before you guys can, can actually show up. So as a team, you guys, you guys have to decide like, okay, uh, are we, are we just gonna do that? Or one, two, three, go, uh, uh, what, what do we do? <laughs> About because how there's four of you and and so far i think alpha premier has two votes <laughs> yeah please put it to a vote and eliminate the one with the least votes yes all right okay sure. i vote so i'll go ahead alpha gladiatorial alpha gladiatorial <laughs> Everybody else good with that? Voting yeah, up. I think it got, I got, yeah, I got two votes, so. Okay. So you guys, uh, like amongst each other, you all lock in the Alpha Premier uh, Academy. And uh, <clears throat> so now the, it tells you like which gate to go to. So gate F, you know, floor 23 is where you guys are going to go. You go up and you park your, your mecha semi uh, in place, and you guys have like a giant pit uh, in which to get your stuff out and, and everything like that. And there you see them, your rivals. Which let's let's have you guys name the rival team. I think that'll be fun because what's more fun than chaotic giraffe alpha force? <laughs> Awful uh, cheetah beta force. <laughs> <laughs> awful cheetah beta force. They just came along behind us. And stole our name. The awful, right. awful beta cheetah force. They're A B C F. <laughs> they can't even spell. I like that. Awful beta. <laughs> they can throw my suit. <laughs> All right. Team members have a giraffe. Uh, right. So, um. However, you how you know what I, I I imagine like an epic giraffe like going fast as your as your logo. <laughs> the uh, so the awful beta cheetah force who uh, you know basically just named their team that to try to mock you. Uh, they sit there and they look like they're just posing up a storm. They're just kind of standing next to their their mechs and they see you guys roll up. And you see their leader, <clears throat> whose name is Flash. And Flash kind of looks over at Jet, and he's like, Sup, Jet? I Sup, see, uh, see you got here after I did. <sighs> you know I'm fast in speed, not in decisions. That, that's, that's part of speed, bro. I can move fast. And he walks away. He just like starts to walk. <laughs> just shoot him, Jet. <sighs> Hold it in, buddy. Hold it in. Save it for the <laughs> are, are you doing the hold me back and nobody's actually holding you back? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Wait, where is everyone? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, the uh, as flash goes goes to the rest of his uh uh the rest of his team who are like a weird bizarre version of you guys um basically you hear them go Ooh, 
and they all high five each other and stuff. And, and then Flash turns around really quick. There's a little sparkle in his eye. We'll see you on the course. Of course. <laughs> uh, no, you won't, because we're going to be too fast. <laughs> Catch up, bro. <laughs> their uh their version of nick <clears throat> whose name is delta he's like hmm i see uh you've been practicing your social skills doing better than you so he looks I'll like he's continuing to work. he makes he makes a note hmm yeah. <laughs> it walks off all right, uh, they they start to uh, to much like yourselves set up their pit. Their pit is right next to yours, um, and you take the next couple of minutes to just make sure everything's good. Doc runs the diagnostics, and uh, everybody Jacob checks his. Oh, sorry, Jake Lubin checks his uh, checks his cannons, make sure that they're loaded. Uh, Jet, make sure. Uh, uh animus is uh like he's has clean lines and will look fast no matter which direction you're he's he's looking uh nick you are you're basically just kind of doing all the calculations and and doing doing the uh the weighing of what could these mooks do you know, and calculating that sort of thing. Uh, and then the display comes up. The holo, uh, hologram display of, of the track comes up and it's a, it's a normal track uh, that you've, know, you've seen. It's a, it's a uh, kind of a stylized Mobius strip. Um, so it looks like a big infinity that's, that's going there. And it says to, uh, pick your uh, pick your pit. Basically, it's telling you what do you think should be on this track in order for for you to make things interesting for yourselves and your uh, your opponents. So, on this list, and you guys and. and as a team, you guys can decide this. There are gravity loops, there are pit traps, there are drones, there are turrets, there are buzz saws, an oil slick, flames, lasers, mag locks, shock towers, rockets and, and or missiles, and turbo boosters. Turbo boosters. <laughs> So before anybody even even uh, does anything, Jed has his finger on the turbo booster button already. <laughs> it's that. So he's picked one. So in this, uh, each pilot gets to pick a uh, pick their poison, basically. So question: mm -hmm. If 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 Doc were to pick the gravity loops. Mm -hmm. Could it be like predetermined that where those gravity loops are, I or she like make sure gravity stays true for our team? Well, that, if Does you that have the gra the gra gravitic turbine, yes. Okay, and I do. Yes, then you could use that in order for that to work. Okay. But gra the gravity loop uh, is basically. Uh, going to be kind of like a loop-de-loop, -loop, right? Uh, so that changes gravity randomly. That would like screw other people up, but if I had the gravity yes. turbine. Yes, this is still a race. Okay, then I want that. Okay. All right. Uh, Nick, anything there? Uh, Can you read the options again? Sure. Gravity loops, pit traps, drones, turrets, buzz saws, oil slick, flames, lasers, maglocks, shock towers, 
rockets or missiles, turbo boosters. Lasers. Lasers. Mm -hmm. I love the lasers. Oil Lubin? slick. Oil slick. Excellent. Not flames. Okay. <laughs> you're your touch, Lubin? I'm stealing my glory. I want <laughs> you're going to set the oil on fire. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Uh, just randomly do what they're picking here. Easy enough. Okay, so uh, you guys get into your frames, you're ready, you power up, you boot up, whatever sound or system your Vacha will make in order to, to make sure that everybody's ready. And you guys start to set yourselves up on the course. Now, <clears throat> the course looks like it is uh, gigantic. There are eight of you guys uh, on this course, you versus the uh, <laughs> the awful Beta Cheetah Force, ABCF, uh, are, are now like on the start line. So imagine like, uh, like a track and field uh, line, right? And you guys, there's four of you and then four of them. And you see them looking at you and you guys are looking at them. Uh, is there anything that you guys want to do before the uh, the race, or do you want to just get into it? I'm I'm talking to both the pilots and the vacha. Mm. <clears throat> I think that you should tell Lubin to focus all of his fire on Delta. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I do like someone else to take the brunt. Then I can swoop in and finish Delta off. Hey, Lubin. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Remember Delta? Yeah, yeah, the one that likes making fun of you. That's what he tries to do. But yeah, you want to fuck him up? Right on. Let's do this. Cool. I'll be behind you. <laughs> <laughs> <All right>. Wonderful. <clears throat> Anybody else want to do anything before we start? No? Okay. So uh, the little orb uh, floats up, turns uh, yellow, and then flashes yellow, and then green, and you're off. So everybody's off the line. Everybody has a good start. Everybody goes, right? So as you guys are, are, are going first, the first turn happens and everybody's pretty much neck and neck with the exception of Flash and Jet. They have kind of moved as far forward as they possibly can, but they're, they are neck and neck while everybody else is kind of behind, uh, almost supporting, okay? So uh, in this first turn, there is a, uh, looks like an array of lasers. Uh, and the array of lasers basically uh, looks like a net uh, or kind of a crisscrossing of lasers. And you see as they as they go up, like a little bit of the dust that's flying up from from the uh, the track, you see that every once in a while they flicker on and off. And the lasers, as they flicker on and off, kind of cut through uh, the the cloud that's in front of you. So these lasers will do some damage to your frame if you if you get hit by them. All right. So Jet, you are for you're going to be first around the corner. Are you guys on the inside of the circle of the strip or the outside of the strip? On the inside curve or the outside curve? I'm outside. Outside. Okay. Inside. Inside. Okay. I'll go middle. Middle. Okay. Like so you're middle. in the middle. Of the track. Middle middle toward the outside. Like, okay, so there's two of you on the outside. Like uh, lane Jet, are you... six. Okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right. Uh, Jet, are you uh as you got are you going? Are you gonna take the, the inside or the outside? Inside. Okay, cool. So uh the lasers will hit you uh if you don't defend, basically. So the, the way attacks and defense work in the game is basically you would hold up a number of fingers and that would be how much you would you would attack and how much you would defend would be how many fingers you you hold up okay so since this is environmental it's just me saying i attack you for this much 
and then you would, would defend so much. So everybody decide between one and five, however many fingers you have on your hand, right? How much you're defending for, you're, you're blocking the lasers or trying to, to dodge the lasers, okay? Me mechanical question, what's yeah. like, what wouldn't be the advantage to just always blocking five, like blocking the most that you can? Because uh, if you block five, then that's all you, you can do. You'll actually lag behind. Uh, okay. So okay. the more the more dice you use to defend, the further back you might fall. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to count to five. You guys decide how many you're going to go forward. Okay. Or how many you're going to defend against. Okay. I yeah. have a number here of how, how many wounds the lasers will do. Okay, so uh, just so you know, the as far as wounds are concerned, uh, for every every wound, uh, will will slowly take you down, and s eventually your frame will stop. Okay, so uh, in this particular case, uh, the magic the magic number for your frame to stop is going to be thirty. That's how many hit points you have. Okay, so ready. Just one quick question. I've got yeah. an ability that says I can use it and defend in the same round. Yes. Is, can I do so that? So you can attack, you can defend, or you can use one of your powers. Okay. Yeah. So you can do any of that, or you can just go. You know, so like if you if you decide, you know what, I'm just going to take, since this is just the first turn, uh, you can take the damage and you're just going to go. You can just do that. Okay. All right, everybody understand what, what to do? You're just gonna hold up fingers. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. And this all is right. Yeah, that's that's nothing, <laughs> all right? So, all right. So you two surge ahead, but you get hit for three damage. Uh, I think, Doc, you hold up two fingers. Mm -hmm. Yep, so you take one damage. So go ahead and mark mark that down. And then, uh, Nick, you, you block everything, but you slow down a little bit. You're, you're behind. So you notice that your, um, for the lack of a better term, your, uh, your bizarro uh, versions of yourselves also basically uh, did the same thing. You guys are still neck and neck. You're, you're there. Uh, Delta is right there next to you, Nick. Uh, Flash is right there next to you, Jet. But he's, he's, he's slightly on fire because of the lasers. That sort of thing. Uh, same thing with you, Lubin. Uh, his name is uh, Wolf, by the way. Is is your your guy? Uh, and Doc uh, Shrink is next to you. <laughs> All right. So you guys are you guys are, are, are going. Second turn. Uh, second turn comes around, and you guys are are doing this. If you guys ever want to do anything, talk to each other, attack. You're in the middle of the race, so you guys, you guys have comms. You can talk to each other. Mm -hmm. So you guys can team up with uh, with each other, that sort of thing. But right now, I have uh, I have little dice that say where you guys are. Um, I have Lubin and, or Jet Jet up front, Lubin behind, and then uh, I have uh, Nick back, and then Doc in the center. And do we know? Um, like, do we have a, a, a like a pop up map of what's on our course and like what's coming? Yes. So okay. when you guys when you guys uh, set set that up, uh, right before you get to the next obstacle, it says what's coming up next. Okay, perfect. All right. So the next thing that you see is going to be is going to be the oil slick. It's coming up. All right. In these turns, also. Uh, what what you'll you'll see here next because uh, is when things get interesting, right? You can actually attack the other the other uh, mechas as well uh, if you like. That's up to you. I just want to give you free information. They are going to attack you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yes. So when you attack, then they attack you. No, no, no. The, no. Uh, Oh, so whenever, whenever you guys want, then you're in the middle of the race, so you can do it whenever. I'm just saying you guys are on the on the straightaway right now. You're gonna go into a, a curve. 
So in most of these, uh, in most of this, these situations, there's going to be a straightaway and then a curve with a, with an obstacle, then a straightaway, then a curve with an obstacle, so on and so forth. So then I think what I would like to do, mm -hmm. I'm going to see if this works within the game mechanics too. Sure. Since I am patient and if we mm -hmm. act on our trait, that should get us an extra die. That's correct. Theory, I would like to go ahead and let Delta get in front of me. I'm just going to go okay. ahead. I don't mind being in last place. I'm comfy nice. here. Okay. But I'm going to use that as an advantage to then attack him. Wonderful. Okay, so I will give you an advantage for that. Um, anybody else want to do anything? Uh, as far as, uh, well, you probably won't ease up on the gas, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to let out just uh, an excited yell and uh, tell everybody to watch this. And I'm going to start booting up my fusion cannon for that oil slick. Nice, so. nice. <laughs> are you gonna do are you gonna shoot it before you get there or as you get there oh before. after okay as Perfect. so i can get as many people as possible <laughs> okay <laughs> wonderful all right and then uh doc do you want to do anything um so are we are we like driving cars or are we like hover flying However you see in your head. How do you want to see it? Oh, like I I like I really do see Hulkbuster and just like like perfect. Flying. That's what happens. <laughs> okay, yeah. perfect. So then right. then then knowing this oil slick's coming, like I'm gonna raise up a little bit more. Okay, cool. All right. Uh Jet, anything before you, you go, or are you just like oh, afterburners? Yeah, it's just it's time to race. It's time okay. to get the boy. <laughs> All right. So he's going fast, mama. All right. Uh, so <laughs> the uh, you hear the the sound of the uh, uh, of the cannon that you've all seen in previous races, uh, and you see the the flashing light of the. You said it was the arc cannon you're you're doing. Or what, which cannon was it? The, the fusion cannon that sets something on fire. Oh, okay, it's a fusion cannon. All right, so the... Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to make sure I have this here. So the fusion cannon, you can either attack or defend this round. You're just going to go and you're, gonna, you're, you're just... You see uh, Lubin almost stop because the fusion cannon shoots and... The same kind of momentum he has going forward is now also going, like pushing him back because of the kickback of the fusion cannon, right? And then you see that the oil slick, what it is, it's, it's kind of like a, uh, what you've seen in car washes where the, where, the, uh, where the foam like goes up and over. So now there's a wall of fire there just like crisscrossing and, and the fire has gone into basically where the nozzles are for the oil slick. And now there's now there, there's this wall of fire that you have to go to. And because of the nature of the spray, it's like this little cyclone that you have to go through that's made of fire. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Nick, you see that as you're pulling back. And you're like, oh, okay then. All right, so now not only do you guys have to do a piloting check, you guys are also gonna have to do that at a higher difficulty, plus you're gonna be on fire, yay. Okay. All right. So uh, everybody put down on their uh, sheet. You can put like a condition or whatever, but you're on fire. <laughs> so piloting check, everybody. So the way the game works, you have two dice, right? Um, I'm going to give an extra die to uh, Lubin because that was real reckless. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know, it's a pretty brash. I'm gonna give you four, di four dice for this instead of the two. That's pretty brash. Uh, anybody who want to make arguments on why their character is doing what they're doing and why you should get an extra die. I'm gonna give one to Nick because he said he was patient. He's gonna see everybody else go through first. Yeah, actually. I'm watching, I'm analyzing, you know. I'm, <laughs> okay, I'm to be you're, gonna, you're gonna figure out the best way through, the, through, through that, yes. Exactly. Uh, can I get another dice for being daring and not caring and only caring about speed? 
I will give you that die. Yes. Doc, Am can, I, you am figure I out able? A, can you figure am out I, a clever way to get through this? I mean, can I, do I have to stay in my lane or can I fly like way up and over this, this thing and still stay in my lane, but just be up higher? You can, but you'll get slower. Can I make a suggestion? That's okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. are you speaking well, as your Vacha, as the Vacha, or are you speaking as Oh, as I'm going to speak as the Vacha. I'm her Vacha. Okay. I remember this. <laughs> All right. Perfect. <laughs> um, yes, please help me. Let's be clever. Fire is heat. Heat generates updrafts, right? So let's ride the updrafts created by the heat as a way to propel ourselves over. So we're using the fire to our advantage to help lift us up and over. <laughs> we're then exerting less energy and we can easily fly over it. Yes. No. See, I had the thought of flying over it. I just didn't know the mechanics of how that all works. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So all this is happening. Everybody rolled me a piloting check. Your, um, you're driving, uh, you're racing, so that's a six. You're on fire, so that's a 12. So you need 12 on however many dice you have in order to, to get through it without taking further damage. And it's base two dice, and then you get one plus for the, yeah? Yep. I got, I just add them together. Yep, you just add add the, the hopefully simple math <laughs> together. Yeah, I got twelve exactly. Twelve exactly. Lubin makes it unscathed and does not slow down. I got 14. a ten. All right, Doc, you rise up and over, but it still clips like so. Your feet are on fire, kind of. Uh, it still clips you as you come back down over, over the top. So you're slightly singed, but you only take one point of damage. Uh. Uh, Jet, what'd you nine. get? You got nine. a nine. Okay, so you you go straight through, and the cheetah spots are being burned into one big spot, kind of sort of sort of thing, because you are blackened by all all of the because it's actually foam. Uh, the oil is foam, so it's actually you have all these uh, all these alarms going off in your, <laughs> in your in your thing, but somehow by squatching down, kind of leaning into the speed, you're not actually uh, getting any hotter than you were if you were just standing in it. So you only take you take two points of damage. Nick, fourteen. You thirteen? Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, 14, yeah. Nick. Nick basically does like the. Uh, uh, the quintessential heist movie, uh, dancing through the, the the laser beams thing, but with you know fiery spouts as he goes through and patiently go goes through the thing, and he actually doesn't. It's it's weird because he's still in the back, but he hasn't lost any speed. He's still back there doing his thing. All right. Um, okay. Next straightaway is coming. Uh, does anybody want to do anything while while they're there? Because they are attacking. Uh, all of them are going to shoot at you guys as you are coming out of the fire. Uh, can I lay down the net, like try to like throw the natural hooks at like uh, Flash's feet? Sure. All right. So that's what Jet's doing. Nick? Um, I would like to do a deflection basically. Okay. Um, so whoever hits me, I'm going to just deflect it back onto Delta. Nice. All right. And Doc? Um, I'm going to like just no, go talk ahead. to like assess how everyone is doing if we need any system reboots this early or if everyone's doing okay for right now. Everyone is still on fire that didn't get uh, a 12 or higher. So then so I will... just just you and Jet basically <laughs> are on fire. I might let us burn for just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Can I yes. actually change my deflection? Sure. From Delta to anyone else on the team because I'm sure. going to be patient 
and save sure. Delta for last. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so we got Flash, Delta, Wolf, and Shrink. Those are the those are those are your guys. Um, so Flash is actually gonna uh, while uh, he and Jet are, are there, um, they actually all took the brunt of that. So they're all here and also on fire. Awesome. All right. So basically, uh, there is a uh, what's it called a oh there it is. Uh, you see a scatter cannon kind of pop up on Flash's frame. Uh, and the scatter cannon basically looks, uh, it's kind of like a, 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 it's almost like a disco light uh, of, of, a, of a gun. Uh, and it's, it's like a, a blunderbuss of, of just like little mini missiles. So it's just like, it's going to scatter, who knows what it hits sort of deal. So this thing pops up out of its shoulder and shoots at Jet. Um, and then Delta is like looking back behind him because you're behind him. And he's just, you, look, you, see, you see that he's actually, uh, he's prepping something like his, his arm is like starting to wind up, but you don't know what it is just yet. Uh, Doc Shrink is over there and you see that uh, out of uh, one of, it, of its gauntlets, uh, Shrink's, Shrink has a basically a giant chain saw coming out of one of one of his uh, uh, one of his his wrists. And Lubin, you see Wolf, uh, who you you've actually seen him uh, do stuff. This is actually a, a, a kind of a new robot that you've seen or a new frame for him. And you see like um, out of its where its trapezius would be, like these little rocket pods pop up. Now, I want you guys to understand that this was written like an anime. So if you guys want to attack or defend or use a power and you yell that power, I'm going to give you an extra die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty simple. <laughs> all right. So uh, in all that, they're going to attack on the straightaway. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to go uh, one by one. Uh, Jet, are you, you're just, are, are you going to attack? Or defend, or what yeah. are you doing? I'm using the nitro hooks. Okay, and so the nitro hooks. Remember that you're the when you use the nitro hooks, you can um, you can use this power and defend this round. You could also defend. Okay. okay. All right. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna count to five. Kind of, oh, What's I can that? flip it how I want, right? Kind of. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So so you can break something to take away dice, so it's harder for him to go. Uh huh. If you, that's basically it. Uh, do you want to? Uh, you guys are so far up ahead, though, that you can only really affect him. Mm -hmm. Is that cool with you? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So I, we're, I'm gonna count to five, and then we're gonna put up our hands and see how much you defend. Okay. All right. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So he does. He does one damage to you, but. Uh, he gains the broken condition. So he's now broken and on fire. Easy as that. All right. Uh, nothing happens on, on your thing, Nick. It's, uh, he's, he's prepping for something. Uh, Doc Shrink is uh, going to try to hit you with his chain blade. Um, and you were doing what during this, this time? Um, I was just kind of talking with everyone and seeing how they were to see if I needed okay. the system reboot. Okay, did you want to do anything uh, during this time? Did you want, or just defend? Did I'll you just want to defend. use a power at all? Okay, all right, yeah, so the uh, <clears throat> the Dauntless Chain Blade. Okay, uh, so the Dauntless Chain Blade is a power. So it's actually, she, he's gonna try to swipe at you and it's uh, it's gonna be two damage. <laughs> If you want to just defend that, that that's fine too. That'll just slow you down though. Oh yeah, then I'll do that. Like cool. I'll okay. like barrel roll okay. somehow. All right, perfect. <laughs> I I assume it's like uh, if you've seen Endgame, Bruce Banner in the Hulkbuster. It's kind of like ah! yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. That right. sounds. I I mean, mad scientist. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right. And then Lubin, uh, he's he's shooting a scatter laser at you or a scatter cannon at you. Uh, so and you were doing. I, so yeah. I accidentally didn't declare, but my my plan was to um, steer directly into Delta and fire my um, rail cannons at him. Oh, OK. Nice. All right. So you're just going to go right into Delta and do four wounds. Yeah, and I shall paste my Atropos rail cannons. <laughs> OK. All right. So uh, you can defend uh, and use that same power. OK, so that'll happen. Uh, and basically, oh, you're already on. He's already on fire, so that doesn't matter because all of your ballistic stuff lights them on fire, all right? But uh, same thing with the scatter cannon. Uh, you gain the broken condition, so it hits something vital and you have like an alarm uh, going off uh, in your, in your heads-up display, but you figured out how to turn off the alarm. You're not sure exactly uh, what the alarm was for, and that hasn't been fixed, but the alarm has been turned off. <laughs> All right. So the next uh, next obstacle that's coming up is going to be the shock towers. You see these kind of giant Tesla uh, uh, Tesla towers come up out of like different lanes of of the thing, and then arcs of lightning kind of shoot over and through them uh, as you guys are, are are going toward them. When you guys are uh, going through these, they will uh, do another condition. Um, called uh bleed which basically will will take a die away from any uh, any sort of action uh involving attacking in any way okay so since, since everybody kind of did uh did their actions and 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 moved uh moved around right now uh jet and flash are up in front um doc uh, is uh, in third, and Nick is in fourth, and Lubin is in second. So that's basically the, the order uh, you guys are in at the moment. You guys uh, will do another piloting check here in a second, uh, unless, uh, if, if there's anything else you guys want to do. Remember that you are also on fire, and uh, Lubin, it, you have the broken condition, which is a further minus 1d6. Can I go ahead and attack Wolf? Absolutely. Uh, what are you attacking him with? Just punching him in the face? <laughs> As you guys yeah, are I'm, running past each other? I'm, I'm assuming okay. he's like in front of me, so I'm just going to kind of try and grab whatever his leg is and just like yoink. Okay, cool. Uh, I imagine he's in some sort of wolf, um, wolf like uh, uh, frame. So yeah, so you like bust into one of his flanks <laughs> really quick. You just punch him right, right in the in in the flank. Okay, so that's gonna be your your thing, your attack and pilot, um, uh, Lubin. I'm gonna try and uh, knock. Delta into one of these Tesla towers with me. Okay, wonderful. That'll be a, another complication onto your your piloting. Good, uh, Doc. Muted. Muted. Oh, you're muted. <laughs> there you go. Muted. Um, seeing these these towers come up, I'm going to slow down just a bit to be able to defend and then immediately on the other side, mm -hmm. I'm going to system reboot. That makes us. sense. Okay, cool. So that so those of you that are on fire will not be on fire anymore. And those of you that are broken will not be broken anymore. Perfect. All right, uh, so that's on the other side of that. So as long as you, you uh, nail your piloting skill, you should be fine, right? <laughs> okay. Ideally, yes. All right, and then uh, Jet, are you doing anything besides going forward, or are you? Oh, nature hooks. All right, still so gonna you're gonna try to break them a little bit more. Yeah, break them just a little bit more. Okay. All right. So what we'll we'll do is do our piloting skill. Those of you that are broken, 
minus one d6. Those of you that are on fire, uh, that's basically another uh, minus one d6. Uh, and then how are you guys uh, navigating the towers? I know that Lubin is, is basically cross-checking somebody. Nick, you're gonna just uh, hit uh, the, the, the flank of Wolf. Are you trying to, you're doing that as you're going through the towers? Mm, I'm trying to debate what I want to do. Okay, and this, I'm, uh, whenever I'm talking, guys, know that I'm also talking to the Vacha. You guys can kibitz however you want. <laughs> I kind of want, and I don't know if this will work based off the number of die I might have, but I would like mm -hmm. to grab his tail. Okay. Like a part of my attack, but the attack is really me grabbing his tail, pulling him down, and then standing on him and riding him through. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Hey, you know what? I'll give you an extra die for that. That's, a, that's actually pretty cool. All right. It, sh it should be more difficult, but I think that's so cool. I want you to succeed. <laughs> you too. <laughs> All right. Uh, and Doc, you're, you're, just, you're just plowing through and then gonna, you're going to hit the, the reboot. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm okay. thinking that maybe she would be watching for patterns okay. in, in like how they, how they light up and if there are any, and then, I don't know, like almost like hurtling okay. um, where you just have your stride and you know exactly when, like you're so confident in it, like you're just going to go through. Okay. I'd like you to write something down on your character sheet. Okay. Uh, uh, write the word inspiration. Okay. And then put like one die. You can use that one die whenever you want because you're surveying the land and you're a mad genius, right? Yes. Okay, so it'll it'll happen in the most unexpected way, basically is what I'm talking about, but okay. in the way that you want it to happen. Okay, all right, so okay. uh, Jet, as you're gonna nitro hook your way through this, uh, how, what does it look like? What are, you, what are you doing? Are you grabbing one of the tire, the things with your nitro hook and then grabbing uh, Flash with the other? Are you, or what's, uh, well, how does it work? I was gonna have it kind of like the hooks that kind of drop out of the mouth, my mouth, because I'm okay. running on the forest. Okay. <laughs> pull him over, hook right. onto Jet, and then try to throw him back and push myself forward. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> all of this is happening at once. <laughs> so all all the stuff. Lubin cross checking. Uh, Nick is uh, is riding Wolf <laughs> through through the things, and Doc is just like. Uh, you guys are all crazy as <laughs> you go through and then Jet kind of just like flings his, his head around as he's running on all fours and, and trying to hit the nitrous or excuse me, the nitro hooks into, in, into Flash. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. These are going to do five damage to you uh, unless you guys decide to uh, do anything else. Um, but we're going to do a piloting check. If you guys get uh, better than a 12 on the uh, however amount of dice you have, then you you won't get the damage, but it's basically gonna be um, a piloting check. If you get 12, you gain no damage. If you gain 10, you'll gain one damage, so on and so forth, okay? So how much, uh, roll your dice? With, with the die again, fire is, every condition you have is basically one less die, right? Yeah, uh, some are very situational, so like, uh, what you would get from being shocked in this case is, is, is only if you attack, you'd get minus one die. Okay, so for on fire for mine, I guess I would just have two now total because you gave me one extra. Right. Okay. How do everybody do? Uh, three. Three, oh, okay. So, uh -oh. <laughs> all right, I got so. A, I got a four. Okay, four. all right. So, so, all right. So, the those of you that got a three and a four took the brunt of the damage. You guys got uh, five damage each, because uh, that you guys didn't really roll that high at all. Um, uh, Nick, how'd you do? Eight. Eight. Okay, so you only you only took that three damage, and then Jacob. 
I got a five. You got a five. Okay. Then everybody that's gone through that takes the uh, shock condition, which means that you'll you'll get an uh, uh, minus one d six if you try to attack because your servos are kind of fried. But as soon as you guys turn out of there, Doc, you know I, I don't know what Ooh. what your system reboot looks boot looks like. I assume it's like a dial on your chest or something. I'm not sure, <laughs> but however you want to see it. How what does it look like? I don't, I don't, um, is it like, is it like the clapper? You just, and everything just goes away. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know how this would work, but like, um, oh, um, fuck. I can't think. It's okay. It's okay. Almost, almost like, um, everybody can convince too. You get your, you guys are more than welcome to, to say, Hey, what if it looks like this? It could just be a spray that you release onto us that's filled with like nanobots. So it looks like just a cloud that we get enveloped in. Yes, that like it, I, I've got, I've got Harry Potter and Loki and Black <laughs> Widow like running through my head right now. Sure. So make, make it like a, a Patronus. Right. That's what. That's what. Like. That's kind of what I was like. Thinking. Awesome. Awesome. It works. It's. It's. It's awesome. It works. So, okay. uh, you release basically nanobots, right? In. In. And they. And they are programmed to find your uh, teammates, and. And they. They will be uh, basically repaired, right? So system yes. reboot happens. Everybody that's broken is no longer broken. Everybody that's on fire is no longer on fire, and everybody that was shocked, which is everybody, is no longer shocked. Uh, do you do that uh, for everybody on the field or just your team? Oh, no, just my team. Okay, sounds good. Fuck those other guys. <laughs> you see that um, uh, Shrink does it to himself, but not to the rest of his team. Can I, can I as, um, as the, the AI, um, <laughs> mm -hmm. make him think he's going to do it to him? Have the, have the nanobots come up to them? Get real close, wink, and then leave. Do it. Do it. Be chaotic. <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds fun. These guys look like they are really in a rough spot right now. Like most of them are uh, on fire. There's sparks flying off of them, and you guys have only gotten through half of the half of the field. So you guys have gotten basically halfway through the Mo Mobius strip, and you see that the next uh, the next uh, obstacle coming up after this uh, little bit of uh, straightaway is going to be the gravity loops and you see the as the uh, the track is shifting and moving like there's pillars coming up and the pillars basically you see that there's numbers on the pillars and in previous races you know that those numbers mean the amount of gravity that's that's on or off on those pillars as you're going through the, the track. So there's some that are like negative five, which will launch you into the air. There are some that are uh, plus 10, which are which will smash you into the ground. So can and I then, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna I just, I was gonna describe the gravity loop is basically like a, um, kind of like a, uh, you know, those, uh, the roller coasters that ha that go in a circle downward, not just the big loop, but kind of like this, this spiraling circle. So it actually will smash you side to side is, is basically what, what it does. <laughs> so then can I gravity turbine us to just stay on our lane shooting forward? Yeah. And then can I like do something to their gravity to where they don't stay on well, the ground? Your gravity turbine will allow you to move a certain amount of people, uh, okay. your people, but that's, or well, you can move everybody or the people you don't want to move will just stay the, same, the gravity. Okay, then I'll just move, I'll just our, our people. Okay. So um, while you guys are doing this, um, you've seen Doc do this before, and you knew you know that the gravity loop is her deal, right? That's her thing, and you know to tuck 
and just go with it, right? Because this is this is your team. You know how this works. Uh, what I'll, I'm going to do is allow you guys to to fire any sort sort of range weapon that you want as you guys are doing this. Oh, uh, I meant to write down. Oh no, they all they all got the damage too. Okay, cool. Uh, all of the stuff that you said happened into the into the uh, into the shock towers does happen. By the way, uh, you guys have smashed people. Uh, they're looking real rough, and you see that they're kind of like also getting into this weird like V formation. Even though there's four of them, right? Uh, as they they kind of all lock together, they're basically locking um, locking their frames together. Okay, um, I'm, I'm gonna fire my neutron destructor cannon. Okay. To try to break the four gravity wells closest to their V. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, Nick. Um, I can't really do anything because I don't really have any like offensive stuff. <laughs> okay. So no worries. No worries. No worries. Uh, it, it's up to you. Like if you want to do anything or if, if you want to commits or, or like, like I said, the Vacha are more than uh, willing to, to give you extra stuff if you would like. You remember that so... targeting system I talked about? <laughs> no, I don't know her. <laughs> um, so I think in this time I'm going to practice some of my patience and just go with the flow. That's my team. Okay. So as the Vacha, you can always, like I said, try to wrench control of mm -hmm. the frame from your, uh, from your pilot. You just have to do a control roll in order to do that. So if you want to put that targeting system on, if you want to do the, the thing, you're more than welcome to, but you have to roll for control. Bring it. <laughs> we just have to ask uh jonathan how many lines he's crossed off of his power power pyramid <laughs> yeah let's let's try it okay four. four lines so you get four dice jonathan will have six dice so nick versus vo uh, volition surge all these six yep all these six whoever has the higher higher number uh of those dice gets to say what happens. Okay, so I got 16. 27. Nice. So <laughs> I say it starts to come out a little bit, whatever the system is. Mm -hmm. And again, I let it get to that last second right before it actually clicks and I go, <laughs> no. And then yeah, it just sucks that, back in. That last little uh, pop up that says, are you sure? <laughs> no. Yeah. Would you like to could, yeah, confirm purchase uh, sort of thing? Little okay, cool. Up shows up that says Proteus Seed will remember this. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> All right. Um, that, that's really good, actually. I'll remember that. Uh, okay. So, as uh, Doc, Doc, Jet, is there, uh, Doc, you're doing your uh, thing. Jet, is there anything you want to do? Is it still me and Flash at the front? Yeah, Flash is looking pretty rough, but he's still going. Like his his afterburners are going. And uh, you said your 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 guy has is a cheetah, right? Yeah. His <clears throat> his dude is basically um, has six legs. It's basically a, a big horse almost looking thing, but it has six legs just to kind of outdo your four. I see how it is. <laughs> um, see, I'm so it looks like about slept near. I'm, I'm thinking about being a little bit so dairy. Late. Instead of uh, conforming with everyone else and uh, listening to the experts, I'm going to drop behind Flash just a smidge. Okay. And then speed up, jump, land on his <laughs> back, push him down, jump, okay. and land on one of the gravity towers that will give me more gravity, hit that, and then try to jump over the obstacle and land on the other <laughs> side. All right, so you're going you to... You Go could ahead. you could accelerate with that too. That oh wait, oh wait, what? Yes. <laughs> as, okay, so you're. I'm gonna... saying this as your vacha. Yes. <clears throat> fast, accelerate. Very, very fast. Yes, do it. Okay, so the uh, accelerator array gives you an extra action. So <clears throat> you're dropping back. In order to do what? 
Oh, smash jump. him in the back, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. so we'll call that your extra action. And mm -hmm. then you're going to jump off of him? Yeah. In order to, to basically seismic toss, smash him yeah. down into the thing. Okay, so your difficulty uh, on this piloting uh, roll will be 12. Uh, on, oh, on the first one, it's gonna be a six. On the second one, it's gonna be a 12. Okay? okay, so you're gonna be doing two things. You're gonna be uh, dropping behind, grabbing him, and then you're gonna lift him up and try to smash him. Okay, so that's so you have two two rolls on that one. Um, Nick, you have you have a, a talk with uh, Volition Surge, and you're just kind of like, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna coast. <laughs> I'm gonna do what Doc says. Doc, you're doing your thing. You're you're telling everybody to get information, and then Lubin, you were doing what again? I was firing my cannon at the four gravity wells nearest. At the four gravity. That's right. That's what it was. Okay. All right. So all of that happens. Uh, the fusion cannon or the other cannon? The neutron destructor cannon. The neutron destructor cannon. That was this one over here. I'm just going to read it really quick to make sure I know exactly what it does. Okay. You break it. <laughs> all right. So yeah, they, uh, all this happens at the same time. The normal formation that you guys have is kind of broken by Jet as he goes and does his thing. How's your pilot, how'd your piloting do Jet? Well, I dropped a dice. Uh, <laughs> okay. For the first one. For the first one, did you get better than a six? Yeah, 10. All right, perfect. That yeah. happens. All right, and the second, the second one, did, did you get a 12 or better? Uh, seven, no. Did you did you include the extra die for uh, oh. your speed demon thing? No. Okay, well, add that extra die. Uh, that would be 13. 13, you did it. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right, so you, you smash him down. Uh, he is looking real rough because you smashed him down into the 10. Uh, just as Lubin breaks the uh, the four uh, four pillars, and they kind of they kind of it looks like a random number generator. They kind of back and forth as uh, you guys uh, go through. Now, Doc, this is your going to be your piloting roll because you're going to roll four times. And you're going to try to get um, yourself, uh, Lubin, Nick, and oh, actually you'll have to roll three because Jet did his own thing. So you got, you're going to try, yeah, you're going to roll your three dice because you're clever, unless you want to use your inspiration die, in which case you'll get another die. It's up to you. Yes, 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 I do. Okay. All right. So you, you'll you need a 12 for each of you to get through unscathed. 14. 14 on, who was that for? Who was going first through the, um, through the gravity wells? Uh, we'll just go Lubin because he's in first. Okay. Lubin. So do I get the inspiration through. on each one of them or just just one? one of them? Just one of them. Okay. All right, who's next? Uh I'll I'll make I'll Nick next and I'll Nick go is last. next. Okay. Uh 10. Okay. So Nick gets clipped by one one of the uh one of the little pockets of gravity really quick. So Nick, you're actually spinning at the moment. Uh, you'll have to do a, uh, a piloting roll to, to stabilize, but we'll get to that in a second. All right, and then you for yourself. Seven. What was that? Seven. Seven. Okay, you are also spinning in place. Good news is you guys didn't smash into to any of the ground. You're actually just kind of spinning around each other. Um, Dancing. And <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, you see that the the other guys uh, basically they they've interlocked their mechs, and as they're smashing each other, with the exception of Flash, uh, they're kind of like spinning, and it looks like whoever whoever has uh, deflection has this shield that pops up, and like this little energy shield that kind of bounces them off the gravity well, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So they have they took very little damage going through there, but they did take some damage. Um, as far as you can see, uh, this is like a demolition derby. You guys have two more obstacles before the end of the race. Um, so 
you guys are there. Nick and Doc, if you'll roll me. Yes. Would this be a situation where I could use either corruption, relay, or deflection? It's not like an attack hit, but I got hit and it's causing me to do something. So could I like pull up my force field, aka deflection, and like not have it knock me? Sure. I can I can say you did that. Yeah. So you're you're good. Doc, you're the only one spinning around. <laughs> you're the only one spinning around. <laughs> Uh, so do one more piloting roll for me. With the three or with the four? Mm -hmm. Three. With the with three. the three. You still you still need a twelve? No. No. Okay. You guys hate me tonight. They all need to go to jail. <laughs> so uh, Lubin, you're the first through, right? And then uh, Jet, you're actually right behind him after you smash flash. And mm -hmm. then uh, Nick, you're right after that. And then Doc, you're still spinning almost in, in midair, almost perpetually until uh, you float out of the gravity loop and then you, you finally land. Um, what, what number did you roll? Eight. Eight, okay, so you took two, two more points of damage as you kind of roll and then pop back up <laughs> and, start, and start to go after everybody. <laughs> Good news is the only people next to you or, uh, or everybody on the other team is is right behind you, but they're all like right behind you. Okay, this uh, there's gonna there is nothing in front of you uh, for for you three gentlemen uh, going forward through the uh, straightaway, uh, but you know what's coming next uh, is gonna be uh, the maglocks, and this is the last obstacle. So it looks like they doubled up on it. So you see that there are ma there's turbo boosters that are pointed at the mag locks. So basically you notice, you know that the magnetic locks will just hold you still. So there's a turbo booster that makes you go fast into something that goes, makes you go still. It's gonna take a lot of good piloting to get through, through the, the last turn. Right. Yes. <clears throat> That, this is me speaking as the uh, the AI. Uh, sure. Um, sure. What what powers do you have again? <laughs> Real quick. So I have the the shadow mode, uh -huh. and then I have sub, uh, remote system reboot, and then the gravity turbines. And the gravity turbines lets you do what exactly? The is what she gravity? just used. She I know, but what's, gravity. what's the language of it? Complex. Oh, uh, the grav the gravity turbines. If you didn't write it down, I'll find it real quick. Basically, it allows you to move uh, people. Da, 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 da. Gravity turbines. You move everything and everyone, including yourself, that you see from one place to another. You can choose to leave someone and or something behind, but it must be declared at the time of the move. And what does this trap look like? <laughs> so the trap looks like a bunch of uh, turbo boosters. So think of it like uh, in every like uh, video game, go-kart game, you, you hit an arrow and it'll shoot you forward like super fast. But the thing is like uh, just not too far from those are mag locks, which will, will basically pull down and smash your, uh, your mech. So when we think of move, is it move as a force? Like is yeah, it a, so basically, is it force being applied for the gravity. So the loss? idea, the the idea of the the gravitic turbines is to to basically just change gravity for just a little bit, and then it's back to normal. Could we potentially use this to change the gravity simply around us to oppose the gravitic, uh, the magnetic pull? Use gravity to kind of oppose the pool to allow us to use that boost to just propel us and then have a protective shield. Or is that too much? I don't know, Doc. Reach? I don't know, Doc. What do you think? <laughs> I, 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 was, I, I was thinking like Mario Kart and the, yeah. like the floaty things when they hit the, the, uh -huh. the gravity things that bounce, yeah. just bounce them. Yes. Yeah, so what you'll, you know, what will happen is that 
if you change gravity, if you use your gravitic thrusters, you'll reverse gravity. So you're going to go forward and then poof, straight up oh, yeah, instead no, of straight down. Can I do that to them, to the other guys? I mean, yeah, you can. Uh, remember that uh, this does, uh, it's, did you already, you, you use this once already, right? Uh huh. What is do your, I have um, to, do I have to mark off the 10? Yeah. I guess, like when I use it? Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. So what, what line are you on now? I have seven full. Okay, so Volition Surge has seven, uh, seven lines of power. So um, just so you know, <laughs> um, when you use when you use the uh, when you use the the gravitic uh, turbines, you were overcome with melancholy. You were yes. um, basically you. you as soon as you hit it, you felt a state of depression, kind of being apathetic and uninterested in the world, um, kind of kind of checked out. And then all of a sudden, you just are hateful. You're, you, you, you look at something or someone and it's just anger. You are at the stage of anger in the, uh, 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 of the AI addiction where you just want the world to burn. If you do this, well, mm, the way the trap's set up, if they fly up into the air over it, are they like scot-free basically to just keep moving? Well, what will happen is they'll be shot straight up and then eventually they'll have to come down. You'll know, you know that none of your mechs can fly. But there's also, there's like an eject uh, button in your mechs just in case it's about to blow up. You should be able to, to be fine from the impact foam, but some, you know, accidents happen. We're pissed. Yeah. Make them pay. <laughs> Either you make them pay or I'll make them pay. Your choice. I mean, I'm pretty, like both anger and depression. I'm almost feeling. Yeah. Well, so you I'm felt like, you felt that you felt that de that depression, and then you're just like, you know what caused this? That guy, and that guy, and that guy. Yeah. So can I just do that to everybody but me? Everybody but you? My, Absolutely. But, uh, Absolutely. Not us. Not, us. <laughs> not not your teammates. Oh, yeah. You still want to win. Just, as, as a kibitz, only one person has to cross the finish line for you to win. Oh. Oh. Hey, I mean, yeah, everybody but me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let this happen. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I love this game. Okay, so... <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> you guys are you guys are going forward, and uh, Doc, who saved your 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 bacon in in the obstacle before? You guys are going and going, and all of a sudden, you hit the turbo. Uh, please, let's do this. Let's do a piloting roll again. Um, you guys can have uh, three dice because you guys are ahead, and you guys are are are, are great at that. If you want to add further dice, this will be great. Just know that if you get a bunch of dice, that's it, it's going to be really good and really bad because uh, how well you pilot will be how high you fly. <laughs> so, oh, so technically, this this gravity well has been a success, right? Yes, it has been a success. It powers in this game automatically work. It's just how it works. <laughs> oh, then can I use the corruption relay on myself? Um, so that this fails on me and I am not shut up. Absolutely. Cool. All right. So uh, still make a piloting check, though. So everybody make a piloting check, including Doc. You need a 12. 
If you get uh, an 18 or higher, you'll go even further high, higher up. Okay. Okay, 13. so the piloting one, do uh -huh. I roll the uh -oh. seven? No, no, okay, so you, you can roll 2d6. Like, okay, it's like that's where and I'm then, going. And then you're clever, right? You were clever just now but yeah. by using that. Um, what was your personality trait? Mad mechanic. Mad mechanic, okay. Yeah, and clever. Okay, so uh, I don't know if, well, okay, technically you are mad. <laughs> so I'll say four dice for you. Okay. I, I assume from Doc you hear a cackle over the uh, comms and then you lose control. <laughs> as you guys are going. Lubin, how'd you do? So I haven't rolled yet. Can I make it worse for myself to- Absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah. So Lubin realizes- I will, give you, I will give you extra dice for that. Lubin realizes what's happening. I lose control of my Mac and I shout, I'll see you in hell, doc. And I- <laughs> This try is to not the first time. <laughs> right, this is not the first time doc has done this? Not the first time. <laughs> So what what I imagine happens is like you guys have these these like um, uh, kind of like push forward for for faster sort of uh, things like in, in an airplane and at a certain point Lubin's just like nope yep <laughs> okay so that is very um, reckless <laughs> you can get that extra die <laughs> uh, Jet how'd you do uh, I got ten. You got 10. Okay. So basically, uh, what happens uh, is uh, we'll, we'll go in order here. Uh, Lubin, how'd you do? I got a 19. You got a 19. Lubin takes off like a rocket. He <laughs> hits a turbo into another turbo and into another turbo and then hits one of the, the uh, mag locks just like just barely as the gravity uh turbine tr kicks on and he shoots like he's already off the ground a little a little bit and he shoots as high as you can see like holy crap kind of like you can't turn your 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 mech's head up high enough to see him he is up there and he'll be up there for probably a, a, until the next turn um and then jet you're right after right after him and you're kind of distracted by that well as it basically kicks you up right mm -hmm. um how much damage have you taken? I am at 19 right now. Okay, good, because you'll be at 29 after this. <laughs> Basically, it pops you up and does 10 points of damage as you hit, boom, uh, and you, and you uh, kind of- uh, Can I, in the air, activate uh, my thing that makes me invincible? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll let that happen. <laughs> I now have and, six uh, things now. Okay. As well. All right. Well, that would be uh, who's who oh. is level overflow. Erica, uh, level overflow. Uh, your pilot just hit the secret button uh, of your things. He has. So you have six dice over his four. You're that much closer to to getting. Uh, to getting a, a new fleshy body. Yes. If you want to do anything, uh, so you know. Oh no, uh, let Jet, it. Jet, you are, um, as you're f flying through the air, like you realize you're not gonna be first and it fills you with, with just such a, a sad emotion that you're kind of like, well, at least I'll, I'll look good when I hit the ground. And that's when you smash into the, the, the ground and start to roll and the, uh, the lock on your frame uh, happens. And it basically turns into to this like little ball that <laughs> falls and then eventually comes to a stop just before the finish line. Oh. You don't actually finish. Um, and uh, Nick, <clears throat> You actually uh, seen this happen before. You quickly switch your your uh, 
was it uh what was it called i'm sorry the uh corruption relay corruption relay on you're like oh no 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 and you send the corruption nanites to make a shield in front of you to stop doc's uh gravitic turbine and they actually take take the brunt of it and they all shoot up in the air as you sail sail through uh you rolled what for your piloting uh 13 13 you hit everything just right you're dancing through the turbo uh turbo you're dancing through through the maglocks and you'll you will actually finish uh doc what'd you roll uh 14. 14. you actually uh are right at the finish line as nick is coming behind you you actually finish first and you see that the uh uh the rest of the team uh looks like there's only two of them left actually like are dragging themselves across the finish line uh right past jet <laughs> and then lubin falls boom right <laughs> right next to him uh lubin how many how many points of damage did you have uh so i had 14 14 okay so uh you would ooh, actually give me a, a piloting roll really quick six okay six you managed to hit that eject button you pulled that, that lever so the frame actually lands next next to uh animus edge and then uh there's a little uh seat that comes down with the parachute that falls over the loop is in who's like white knuckled on on the thing <laughs> and the the checkered uh, the, the holographic checkered flag goes off and everything goes. Doc, you finish first, but you're pissed that, uh, you know, Nick actually finished after you and two of those guys, uh, two of the uh, awful beta cheetah force actually made it and not all four of them got crashed, crashed through. Um, and you finish the race and the one step closer to the, uh, one step closer to getting uh, another thing. Um, as you guys are there, do the Vacha have anything to say to their pilots? Even though you're still angry and the game's over, there's nothing stopping you from doing it again. They have us here for entertainment, do they not? Would this not be entertaining? <laughs> <laughs> Oh we some stuff up, didn't we? <laughs> oh, and I'm actually at an eight now. Oh, yeah. Lord. <laughs> this is when Volition Surge. I'm almost to a nine. <laughs> yeah, Volition Surge is, is, is like like most, most of her personality now. <laughs> I'm going to actually, well, actually, I'm going to wait to see what you say, and then I'll do what I want to do. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how the jealousy piece would work right now. Well, basically, I mean, at this at this point, jealousy would be um, jealousy might not be the correct word for it. Um, okay. Basically, it's a you'll seek such situations where you can gather intellectual and physical knowledge. So this is when you go quiet. This is when you scheme. This is when um, you actually are kind of like, hmm, how can I do that 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 person does? Or how can I exploit that? That's, so jealousy might not be the correct word for it. Okay. Exploit them by killing them. So what would Lubin look like? Like a bug on a windshield. <laughs> yeah, basically that would be. <laughs> but internally, it wouldn't be out loud. <laughs> Do any of the other Vasha while, while uh, Doc is thinking about what she's doing? A little bit too quiet. Uh, is that do the other Vasha want to do, say or do anything? I I do. I but unfortunately, I have two kids waiting, so I'm. Oh gonna sure. Have to no worries. Uh, I was gonna end in ten minutes uh, uh, as well. So let's leave it here. There is a um, kind of angry but quiet kind of. Uh, checked out uh, 
podium. It goes Doc, then Nick, and then um, one of the other guys. Let's say it's Delta that actually made it. Uh, and and uh, oh no, he's he's like at one point left, uh, and he's uh, he's there. And then like off in the corner somewhere, Jet's kicking a rock because he didn't finish. You know. <laughs> But that's, um, that is a one shot of sentient frames. Thank you so much for playing. Um, if you have questions or uh, have an idea of uh, how this kind of will help uh, do stuff uh, with uh, geek therapy and all that stuff, please, uh, you know, write it up. There is, uh, like I said, I, I picked this because it's very blatant. It's in your face, you know, hey, if the, this is a, a piece of the addiction, this is a piece of the thing. I try to make it so all of you have a chance to be a bacha, but usually what happens in a game is that uh, one person plays the bacha uh, and, and another character. And then you would kind of go back and forth each other. You wouldn't necessarily all be, be um, pilots, but it's just fun to all be pilots because then you have more stuff to do. Uh, and, but yeah, usually you place this game on top of another game, right? So you, you'd lay that on top of another game where, where an AI is trying to, you know, get in. So hmm. I hope you guys have fun. Yeah, it yeah, was a lot of fun. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, if you, if you guys enjoyed this, please uh, let them know and uh, we can play a different version of it or uh, any other games uh, I have. Like I said, I have a library of role-playing games. If there's something that you guys have said, you know what, I've always wanted to play a samurai or, you know, actually I've never played the Star Wars role-playing game or whatever it is, let me know. Uh, I probably own it. I can probably run it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much, guys. Uh, I don't know how to close these things out. Do you guys just yeah, say bye and close it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, have a great night, guys. Thank you so much for playing the game. Thank I hope you. to see you again. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you.